Oh, this is cosy. All like this. All like this. We enjoy this now. Now, um, what's your secret to old age? Um. Well, I'll tell you something. I don't want to bore you. Well, I've bought a knee children in Conwood Street. That's right in town. And I was the oldest of eight children. Yes. And I had the best mum and dad in the world. We didn't have any money at all. We were brought up to be friendly, don't moan, and get on with it. I had two children, and they produced... Well, I forgot. There's not many people 106, are there? No. The thing is, I've always kept a very open mind. I've always kept busy and tried not to moan. When did you move to Northfield? Uh, well, we came up to Northfield when I was 15 and we lived in Inverness Road. Oh, yeah. And listen, we got our own toilet, our own bathroom, and we couldn't believe it. So, so what about where you live now, now, now? Here. Where's here? Up the road there, up that patch here. Up the top. <laughs> now listen, I've always had a house with a lovely garden. We lived in Northfield, but I lived on Bourneville for a long time. With a lovely garden. But here, you see, you're close to the shops. There's a lot that are lot better on Bourneville, you know. But you're close to the shops. There's nowhere better than Ash Grove now. Is that right? No, in the whole oh. of Birmingham. Is that right? right that, that, so I'm led to believe. Are you sure? I believe so. What do you think yeah. now? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well, I think there is better places. <laughs> now, you knew I'd say that. You knew I'd say that. So, um, but having said that, this place is convenient and very good and you can get your food every day in the restaurant and you're quite close to the shops. Yes. So what more do you want? That's a big plus because you go out every day don't you? You've got the lots shops. of friends. Uh, yeah, I go out every day and I'm going to keep going every day as long as I can. But the secret is listen, try not to know. And I got married, pregnant straight away. And I lost my husband, he died with stomach cancer. And I did get married again, had a very good second marriage. But he died. So I'm on my own and I'm looking for another man. You're not man. on your own though now. No, I'm looking for another man. You're looking for another man? Oh yeah, oh yeah. How about your tall boy? I'm putting my lipstick on every day. <laughs> <laughs>